big, splashy welcome in D.C. Tonight, President Biden hosted France's Emmanuel Macron the night before he visits us here in New Orleans. Fitting then that the White House picked our own John Baptiste for tonight's entertainment. This is his arrival just a little while ago for the dinner. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Devin Bartolotta. Sharice is off. This was President Biden's first state dinner. Some big names showed up. We spotted Colbert. Stephen Colbert, Julia Louise Dreyfus, Pete Buttigieg. On the guest list from Louisiana, House Majority Leader Steve Scalise, former New Orleans mayor and current Biden administration official Mitch Landrieu, and former Congressman Cedric Richmond. Governor John Bell Edwards was also in attendance. Tomorrow, the governor will be back in New Orleans to sign a climate change agreement with Macron. Eleanor Tabone has tonight's top story on the big day ahead. The Louisiana coast is extremely vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. Louisiana is one of the most at-risk states to be impacted by climate change, especially as sea levels continue to rise. President Macron will meet with Governor Edwards to discuss climate change. The Inflation Reduction Act, which is the first federal climate law that we recently passed and President Biden recently signed in Washington, D.C., has certain provisions in it that have disappointed European allies. And so um, because they encourage domestic production of many of these renewable technologies. So certainly um, Biden will want to hear specifically what Macron's concerns are. It's been much easier to address climate change in France as most of their electricity comes from nuclear sources. In America, we run off coal and gas production. The governor's climate task force has approved a plan to reduce Louisiana's greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. We still feel that tie and those cultural ties to France. So it's great that we're able to celebrate that with President Macron. Since the city's time as a French colony to today, the French influence is still felt throughout New Orleans and South Louisiana. It's in the in our food, in our culture, in our family heritage. Joseph Mistrot from Le Union Francis, a nonprofit offering French language classes and cultural classes, sees President Macron's visit is revitalizing those ties. It's pointing to our past and looking towards our future. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News. Macron's plane will touch down in New Orleans at about 12.30 tomorrow. Governor John Bell Edwards will meet him and the First Lady of France, Brigitte Macron, there. They'll then meet at Jackson Square at 1. They plan to sign the climate change agreement a little after 2. Then they'll go to the Art Museum a few hours later. Dinner is at 8. Then Macron will be escorted down Frenchman Street to hear some jazz.